in the Highland Garden Village, one urban farmer brings his two children to harvest their jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. He tells us his children have grown to love their garden. The Highland Garden Village in West Denver, near 38th and Tennyson, sits on land that was once the old Elitch Gardens Amusement Park. You can sit on the park bench and imagine the sounds of those olden days. John and Mary Elitch built old Elitch Gardens in 1890. Elitch Gardens became the cultural center of the city with its gardens, zoo, and theater. After John Elitch died, Mary ran the park herself, following John's dream of building a theater and bringing culture to the city of Denver. The park had roller coasters, gardens, the Trocadero Ballroom, and a carousel. Since old Elitch Gardens was built, Denver has grown into a metropolitan area with skyscrapers, convention centers, and restaurants. Downtown Denver is full of city noises. Before, Elitch Gardens was moved to downtown Denver in an effort to revitalize the city. New stadiums were built and trains were added to the urban landscape. Larimer Street in Denver is the epicenter of the city's pulse. J. Peter Brosius, an anthropologist, describes how the nomadic eastern Panan people of Malaysia contrasts the sounds of their forced home against the noises of destruction. Bulldozers and chainsaws building roads and claiming their trees. Instead of the quiet of the forest broken only by the wind in the trees, the call of the birds, and the clicking of insects. The kind of quiet found in Highland Garden Village today. In 1996, Old Elitch Gardens was demolished and a mixed-use community was established. This design included mixed-income housing, parks, small local shops, and a residential urban garden. Their garden is a patchwork of small individual plots, each lovingly tended by a different homeowner, and are a variety of shapes and sizes, each one containing a different collection of vegetables and flowers, reflecting the imagination of its urban farmer. Benjamin Page, an anthropologist, analyzed the urban gardens in Buea, Cameroon. He explained that the urban gardens began in colonial times, when German expatriates grew traditional foods they missed from home. Across Buea's history, colonists from England and Germany and rural African immigrants grew traditional foods which the local urban markets did not provide. In times of economic stress, these gardens became a means of sustenance, replacing lost wages. Also, these urban gardeners regained the satisfaction derived from working the soil, tending the plants, teaching their children to farm, and harvesting their own crops for their suppers. Adam Henn, an anthropologist who studied urban gardens in New York City, described urban gardens as green oases surrounded by miles of concrete. He said that the community garden freed the land from its man-made confinement to create a place for residents of all ages to relax, play, and socialize. A place of cleaner air, fresh food, and memories from rural homelands. The Highland Garden Village, along with 90 other community gardens and small parks in the Denver area, is a model for future Denver neighborhoods. <laughs>